state of Tennessee receiving millions of dollars from the federal government, continuing that fight against the opioid epidemic. Yeah, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announcing today that the administration is offering $1.8 billion, dividing it amongst all 50 states. The battle has only just begun. We must continue fighting side by side to stop the menace once and for all. Together, we'll save thousands and thousands of our fellow Americans and the families of so many people. Now, of that money, Tennessee will be getting more than $25 million. New here at 5 o'clock, WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford is looking into how that money will help here locally. Yeah, she joins us now here in the studio. So, Kirsty, what are you learning tonight? Well, the CEO of the Helen Ross McNabb Center tells me one of the goals to end the opioid epidemic is providing more access to treatment. He says that's exactly what they've been able to do with this funding. A couple of years ago, the president announced essentially, you know, that we have a war on opioids in our country and, and it kind of uh, went silent. And then now its funding has come two years consecutively. So it feels great to know that the federal government is concerned about the local community and the work that we need to do to help people. Jerry Vagnier, CEO of the Helen Ross McNabb Center, says the funding has made a difference in East Tennessee. The extra money helps Helen Ross McNabb branch out, bringing treatment closer to those struggling with addiction. It used to be tremendous waiting lists. Now we've provided opportunities for people to access care in a very timely manner. And that's when people really are most open to treatment. They're able to use a hub and spoke model of care, partnering with providers across East Tennessee. The center expanding services in two locations, Sevier County and Athens, just within the last month. Bagner says the funding also helps the center provide the right kind of treatment. The best kind of funding that we can get is flexible funding so that they don't pigeonhole you into providing only one thing for one kind of person. We need to have lots of treatment options for people. And because the money isn't tied up for specific treatments, the Helen Ross McNabb Center has found that medication plus talk therapy has been the most effective type of care. Kristen. All right, Kirsty, thank you. Now, according to the Knox County District Attorney General, 168 people have died from suspected overdoses so far this year. Yeah, by this time last year, 201 people died from suspected overdoses.